Skyler, and I'm going to talk to you about why Jews have the hottest sex lives. All Jews, conservative, yeah. orthodox, reform, reconstruction, the converts, those by association. I love talking about sex. I've been doing it since I was five, because I'm Jewish. I grew up in a household where sex was just another topic of education. One of the pioneers in my field, sex therapist Dr. Roop, also credits Judaism with the ability and permission to talk about sex comfortably. But that's not the case for my schoolmates. American sex education typically gives us silence and shame. Sex is a sin, sex is dirty, so save it for your soulmate. <laughs> the Torah, however, talks about sex as a mitzvah. The Torah is basically a less modern version of the joy of sex. It talks about pleasure because it discusses the joy in sex. And because rabbis interpret and deliver the word of sex, we're basically prophets of pleasure. Yes, God created human beings with the intent to experience pleasure. And that's what rabbis do. They counsel couples on how to have sexual pleasure in their relationships. God gave us eyes to see, ears to hear, tongues to taste, and sex drives to experience sensual pleasure. The clitoris, for instance, has no reproductive function. Those 8,000 nerve endings are solely for female pleasure. Thank God. We have great sex lives because God made sex fun. Yes, Judaism encourages many children, but we have to have fun practicing. We also have great sex lives because of Shabbat. Shabbat. Just do it. <laughs> On Shabbat, sex is a must and it's a mitzvah. Us sex therapists, we like to tell our clients, you must schedule your sex date. Well, we get that from Judaism. Shabbat's like one big worldwide sex date that's been standing there for thousands of years. She comes first. In Judaism, her pleasure is Jewish law. A woman has a right to expect her husband to provide her with sexual satisfaction. The quality of sex is emphasized over the frequency, but quality feeds frequency. But it's not just female pleasure, it's all human pleasure. Rabbi Shemoli Bateyak, author of Kosher Sex, he says that God designed us for all, he says, God designed for all of us to be lovers. And it is the romantic relationship that is the strongest relationship, because it's the one we choose. We don't choose our parents, we don't choose our kids. If we want to be there, it's because we choose to be there. But that doesn't mean it's easy. Relationships are hard to navigate. We get into routines, we get a little bored, and we lose that courtship fire. Rabbi Shmuley again says he knows how the seduction leaves, and so he encourages us to make marriage an illicit affair. But how do we do this? Seduction. Sexual desire starts in the brain. We've got to turn on the brain before we turn on the body. Now, this is a little bit easier for men because they have testosterone working in their favor. <laughs> women, women are a little more complex. We have a lot more buttons that need to go off, like laundry and dishes and email, before the on button can go on. So what is this on button? Yes, this is the on button of seduction. It's called foreplay. It starts at 8 a.m. the week before. <laughs> Another more spiritual way to breed desire is by following Jewish laws around family purity and the practice of mikvah. The mikvah is a bath from rainwater made for spiritual purification. The following, those following this practice basically do not have sexual contact or physical contact for two weeks around the woman's period and the week after. And basically the forced absence makes the heart and body grow fonder. It, is an, it encourages a rediscovery with renewed passion. And for those who don't want as frequent sex, it's a nice little break. But basically, the mikvah experience is a time for separation and renewal. And the renewal is what makes sex spiritual. It's also a window of time that encourages emotional intimacy. It encourages us to cultivate friendship. And that's why Jews have great sex, because we can be hot, passionate lovers, and we can be the bestest of friends. But the most important reason why we have the best sex is because the Torah says that sex is one of the holiest acts in which we can engage. At the end of the day, we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. So let's have pleasure.
Thank you.